Hello, wonderful souls, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into another thought-provoking topic, the most harmful non-spiritual things. We'll explore seven non-spiritual things you should avoid to cultivate a more fulfilling and purposeful life. So let's jump right in and explore these insights together. Before we begin, it's important to note that spirituality isn't limited to religious practices or beliefs. It's about connecting with our inner truth, embracing our higher selves, and living in alignment with love, compassion, and authenticity. In this sense, religion and spirituality can, but doesn't necessarily mean, are connected. Religion is the system of beliefs and practices, while spirituality focuses on the personal experiences and connectedness one feels with a higher power. With that in mind, let's explore these seven non-spiritual things to avoid. Living in low vibrations like fear, resistance, and resentment. One of the first non-spiritual things to avoid is living in fear and resistance. Fear holds us back from embracing new experiences, pursuing our passions, and connecting with our true selves. Living in fear and resistance often stems from a place of insecurity and uncertainty. It makes us guard ourselves by believing we need to protect ourselves. With that, it closes us up and prevents us from positively reacting to what is coming our way. When we allow fear to dictate our actions, we limit our potential and denote our spiritual growth. Dolores Cannon teaches us that fear is an illusion that holds us back from embracing new experiences and opportunities for growth. Instead of succumbing to fear, we can choose courage, trust, and openness to invite growth and expansion into our lives, believing that everything is working in our favor. Moving beyond resistance ensures that we are flowing with the natural rhythms of life. By releasing resistance and embracing acceptance, we open ourselves up to the flow of abundance and transformation, changing our frequency from low to higher. Holding grudges and nurturing resentment is another non-spiritual and low vibrational process. These negative emotions weigh us down, fill us with negative energy, and prevent us from experiencing true inner peace and freedom. This is further increased if we want to retaliate, get back, or avenge the wrongdoings. Dolores Cannon teaches us that forgiveness is a transformative tool for healing and releasing emotional baggage. By practicing forgiveness and letting go of past hurts, we create space for healing, love, and positivity to flow into our lives. Through forgiveness, we free ourselves from the burden of resentment and open our hearts to love and compassion. Furthermore, we release ourselves from the chains of the past and focus on the present moment. By releasing grudges and resentment, we create space for positivity and joy to enter our lives, fostering spiritual growth and emotional well-being. Seeking external validation or comparing ourselves to others. Seeking external validation is a common trap obstructing our spiritual growth. When we rely on others to validate or approve of us in order to then feel worthy or successful, we give away our power and disconnect from our inner truth. Continuously seeking external validation can become a habit that diminishes our self-worth and traps us in a swirl of always waiting for the people around us to grade our worth. Instead, we can cultivate self-love, self-acceptance, and self-validation, recognizing our inherent worthiness and value. When we seek validation from within, we realize our intrinsic worthiness and value, independent of external opinions or judgments, which always come from others and their own experiences, not ours. When we follow our guidance, intuition, and desires, we embody our authenticity and open the path for the higher self. By tuning into our inner wisdom, we gain clarity and confidence in our decisions, leading to authentic self-expression 
and spiritual fulfillment. Similarly to external validation, comparing ourselves to others is a non-spiritual trap that breeds insecurity and self-doubt. Each of us is unique with our own journey, gifts, and experiences. When we compare ourselves to others, we diminish our worth and potential, not recognizing and validating our inherent value as individuals with their own experiences, wants, wishes, needs, and potentials. Instead of wishing and trying to be more like others, we can celebrate our individuality and focus on our personal growth and evolution. When we embrace our uniqueness in personality and experiences, we cultivate a sense of empowerment and self-confidence, honoring our journey. By acknowledging our strengths and weaknesses without judgment, we create space for self-discovery and spiritual growth. We also release ourselves of the idea of how things should be and flow into the amusing reality of how things are for me. Engaging in gossip and negativity. We greatly hinder our spiritual growth and well being if we engage in negativity, gossip, drama, and other low vibrational acts. When we participate in gossip or spread negativity, we contribute to a toxic environment and lower our vibrational frequency. Our thoughts have immense power and they help shape our reality. The subconscious doesn't understand the concept of inner and outer worlds so it encodes our thoughts and words as directed only toward ourselves. So every time you say something negative, the subconscious understands it as connected to you only. Furthermore, the more you engage in negativity, the more the universe sends it out to you as per the law of attraction. By entertaining these low frequencies, you will soon find yourself surrounded by negative people who gossip and drama-induced situations infused with all kinds of negative feelings. Instead of belittling others and maintaining a toxic environment, we can choose to uplift and inspire others, focusing on positive conversations and uplifting interactions that nurture our souls. When we decide to focus on positivity and kindness, we raise our vibrational frequency and attract more positive experiences into our lives. Practicing mindfulness and choosing words wisely contributes to a more harmonious and uplifting environment that supports our spiritual growth and well-being. Being attached to material things and imagined outcomes. Attachment to material things has been preached by all kinds of spiritual teachers and gurus as one of the most low vibrational things we can do. Our world is abundant with all kinds of distractions from the material realm, luxurious homes, fashionable attire, high-end cars, and state-of-the-art gadgets. These items can be captivating and often seen as symbols of success, wealth, and achievement. As we accumulate them, we find comfort in their physical presence, viewing them as evidence of our achievements. When we are attached to what we've physically gained in our lives, we reduce ourselves to what we've obtained, greatly moving away from the paradigm that the most important things in life are within us. This attachment brings suffering and lack, as we can lose our possessions at any moment, and even if we don't, ego consciousness will never have enough and will push us into an ever-ending battle of having more. Focusing on our material things possessions, status, or achievements, we begin to measure our worth by our material wealth rather than our authentic selves. This attachment shifts our focus outward, prioritizing tangible success over inner growth and self-betterment. It's a common trap to measure our value by what we own rather than our kindness, compassion, and capacity to love. Being attached to outcomes is another non-spiritual habit that can lead to disappointment and frustration when things don't go as planned. When we cling to specific outcomes or expectations, we limit the infinite possibilities available to us. We start focusing on the outcome and not the process. This again can trap us into the never-ending cycle of always going, never arriving, 
prompting us to strive for more without appreciating what we have. But fear not, there's a solution within us, embracing detachment. Detachment isn't about relinquishing everything we own, it's about not letting our possessions define us. By finding this balance, we liberate ourselves from the chains of materialism. We see our possessions as tools rather than constraints, leading us closer to our spiritual essence. Detachment opens the door to a life filled with profound satisfaction, where our worth is measured by our inner growth and ability to love. In terms of being attached to outcomes, detachment becomes the way to give trust to the universe that everything works for our good and benefit, even if we don't see how at a certain moment. We can surrender to the flow of life, trusting that the universe has our best interests at heart and guiding us towards our highest good. By staying present in the moment and embracing the process, we allow for greater flexibility and spontaneity, leading to spiritual growth and expansion. Having negative self-talk or indulging in too much ego, identification. Negative self-talk is detrimental to our spiritual growth and inner peace. Dolores Cannon teaches us the importance of cultivating self-compassion and self-love. When we engage in negative self-talk, we reinforce limiting beliefs and diminish our sense of worthiness. To increase our spirituality, it's crucial to recognize the power of our thoughts in shaping our reality. By practicing self-awareness and replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations, we can shift our mindset and cultivate a more loving and compassionate relationship with ourselves. On the other side of the spectrum, but with the same adverse effects, is having too much ego identification. Excessive ego identification can hinder our spiritual growth and disconnect us from our true essence. Dolores Cannon teaches us the importance of recognizing the ego as a tool for navigating the physical world, but not allowing it to define our sense of self. When we become overly identified with the ego, we may prioritize external validation and material success over inner fulfillment and spiritual alignment. A crucial part of spiritual growth is to transcend the limitations of the ego and embrace our higher selves. By practicing humility and surrendering the need for control, we can align with our true essence and experience greater peace and fulfillment on our spiritual journey. A critical aspect of these non-spiritual things is understanding healthy boundaries and life outlooks as opposed to unhealthy extremes. When we think of not having a negative self-talk, we don't say we shouldn't have any kind of critical thinking toward ourselves and our behaviors. Instead, we speak of being realistic and honest with who we are, always looking for ways to improve without undermining our current state or how far we've come. When it comes to not being too ego-identified, we again think of having a healthy, realistic, and honest self-image that is not too inflated or falsely pumped up. Humility and gratitude for what we are, have, and experience are some of the biggest virtues the universe greatly appreciates and positively rewards in response. Neglecting inner reflection, awareness, and self-care. Neglecting self-care and inner reflection is another non-spiritual habit that can leave us feeling depleted and disconnected from our inner selves, as it lacks awareness and introspection, which are essential for spiritual growth. In today's world and the fast pace that we are living in, we can easily get distracted with non-essential or deconstructive indulgences, tasks, errands, or habits. But they often just drive us further apart from our natural, honest, deep needs, wants, and wishes, and instead push mainstream agendas, standards, or expectations that leave us drained or unsatisfied. Caring for our physical, emotional, and mental well-being is essential for nurturing our spiritual growth. 
We create a strong foundation for spiritual awakening and transformation by prioritizing self-care practices and inner reflection. When we honor our bodies and minds with self-care rituals such as meditation, journaling and exercise, we cultivate a deeper connection with ourselves and our inner truth. Awareness and self-reflection are essential tools for self-discovery, growth, self-understanding, self-love and self-acceptance. By setting aside time for introspection and self-reflection, we gain insight into our beliefs, desires and goals, leading to greater self-awareness and spiritual alignment with our higher self. Lacking mindfulness, gratitude and trust. Lacking mindfulness, gratitude and trust in the universe can hinder our spiritual growth and connection to the divine. Cultivating these essential practices can significantly aid our spiritual connection and lead us to awakening. When we lack mindfulness, we may operate on autopilot, disconnected from the present moment and the beauty of life unfolding around us. Practicing mindfulness makes us more aware of our thoughts, emotions and surroundings, fostering a deeper connection to the present moment and the divine within. Additionally, cultivating gratitude and trust in the universe allows us to recognize the abundance and blessings in our lives, opening our hearts to receive and manifest more of what we desire. Through mindfulness, gratitude and trust, we can align with the flow of life and experience greater peace, joy and fulfillment on our spiritual journey. In summary, these are seven non-spiritual things to avoid if we want to lead a spiritual life filled with high vibrational states of being, unconditional love and ever-present connection with the universe. By releasing low vibrational emotions like fear, resistance and resentment, seeking validation only from ourselves and not comparing ourselves to others, not engaging in toxic scenarios and gossiping, not being attached to material things and desired outcomes, not indulging in negative self-talk or high ego identification, embracing inner reflection, awareness and self-care, and being mindful, grateful and trustful. We can create a life aligned with our highest truth and purpose. This can help us navigate our spiritual journey with grace and authenticity, experiencing greater joy, peace and fulfillment along the way. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey of exploring non-spiritual things to avoid. Remember, you are a divine being on a sacred journey of self-discovery and growth. You can create a life aligned with your highest truth and purpose by avoiding these traps and embracing your spiritual essence. Until next time, stay tuned, stay blessed, and keep shining your light. Like, share, and subscribe to give something back and help this positive message spread.